All right. So the day has taken a dramatic turn in terms of weather. It started off really soupy, really humid and very hot, but very sunny. And I feel like I'm in South Florida because the last few days it's rained in the afternoon. In South Florida, it's almost like every afternoon it gets so humid during the morning that there's really nothing else that can happen except for a, a, a rainstorm or a shower in the afternoon. My boy Pedro would know about that. But anyway, I got tied up with work. You know, you got to pay the bills. So I really got into like a lot of billing <laughs> today, sending invoices out. And uh, I didn't get to as many videos as I would have hoped. But this is a celebration day for me eclipsing 25,000 subscribers. And I want to thank each and every one of you that's coming into this video or have looked at the series of videos I did earlier, or any video for that matter. What's up, Joey? What's up? Sean, what's up? I can't see. Mystical. I hope I'm saying that. Mystical, what's up, Brad? Keith, is that Keith? Keith, what's up? So, you guys know, if you know anything about this show, you know I'm a sucker for marketing. And you know, if you know anything, if you've been around for a while, you know I like fast food. Now, I haven't done too much fast food lately. Earlier today, I had a cheeseburger at the diner. And I figure I'll just throw away the diet. So I'm going to go after something that has been marketed like crazy. Every time I turn around, I'm seeing this ad on TV. And usually I'm with Jackie. She likes to be healthy. Today she's having dinner with a friend. So I'm free <laughs> to eat like a pig today. We're going to go to Burger King and try the chicken sandwich. Now they've been, like I said, they have been bombarding the internet and TV with this new chicken sandwich from Burger King. We're going to find out if it's any good. And that's what we're off to do. I'm also going to be reviewing something I picked up at the store, the supermarket the other day. So I was walking by, and again, I'm a sucker for marketing, and I see a logo that I love. Coca-Cola, and a drink I love, and coffee. Coke and coffee. So I've been dying to try this. Varieties. It may come in more, but I saw two different varieties. They have the dark roast, and then this is the vanilla. So we're going to be trying these today with our chicken sandwich. 25,000 subscribers, guys. I tell you what, it's taken me 10 years. I'm hoping I get to 50,000 well before 10 more years. That would be sad. My goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers before I lose all my hair. So let's try to do that, guys. If you know anyone that likes silly videos, if you know anyone that likes cars, because sharing is caring. So I've had a pretty good day today. I've been upbeat pretty much all day. 25,000 subscribers. This is a celebration day of the average guy in an average way. Um, people that come in every day that watch these videos. And I thought I'd give you a little look into my life. <laughs> as interesting as it is. All right, so for many of you who don't know, I am driving a 2015 Jeep Renegade Trailhawk. I saw this vehicle, I guess it was in the 2014 auto show. The exact vehicle I'm driving, the color and everything. It's 
called an the anvil color, which to me kind of looks like a mix between gray and green. I did a review of this vehicle. I actually have my daughter Haley in it, and uh, I love this little sports utility vehicle. So it's the Trailhawk trim, which has a little bit more beefed up suspension, some protection under. So if you did want to take this off-roading, it's a little bit more off-road capable than the, tr the traditional Renegade. It's got uh, some graphics, some black graphics, and special tail lights. And it's again, it's on a slight lift. Very nice. I've had this vehicle now since 2015. I've got just over 90,000 miles on it. So I've been really using the hell out of this little vehicle. And for the most part, I really like it. Uh, knock on wood, it hasn't had any major problems. Just some little things here and there that annoy me. Small back seat, small gas tank, 12 gallon tank, which is a little strange when, you know, you're talking about a vehicle that you could potentially take off-roading because you want a large gas tank if you're going off-roading, right? Because you never know what the where the road's going to take you. Uh, that's, I think my biggest pet peeve with this vehicle is the small gas tank and the lack of cup holders in the back. Now, there are slanted like bottle holders in the back in the door panels and the door cards but there's no center arm rest in the back that comes down so your passengers in the back have cup holes i think that's odd to me now other trim models i believe the limited trim offers cup holders but the trailhawk at the level i have it at did not offer the cup holders but other than that, it's been a really good, and it has a flaky suspension, a flaky transmission. It's a little flaky. Doesn't like bump and go, stop and go traffic. Can be a little flaky. But other than that, I've really enjoyed it. The interior, which I'm not going to be able to show you right now, was an award-winning interior. Just beautifully done. Very simple. Very well put together, fit and finish for this level of a vehicle. Very, very good, guys. So I'm getting the itch to get back out into these vehicles and start doing some vehicle reviews. Let's see what happens. But right now, we're going to do we're going to do the Chiking sandwich. The Chiking. And we'll see what we can do. Hand-breaded, freshly hand-breaded chicken sandwich. It's new. Let's do it. All right. Oh, they have it in spicy. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Can I try the chicken sandwich? Uh, just the sandwich, I think. Can I do one of each? Uh, uh, that's it. Thank you. All right, we're going to try the spicy and the regular. Because we're here, right? Right? We're here. Might as well get both. The chicken sandwich. All right. Sucker for marketing here. What's the change? Ten cents. Yeah. Are you selling a lot of them? You selling a lot of them? Is it good? Oh, all right. See that? Thank you. All right, I have a tip for you guys. The 
this is something I've been doing for a while. If you're the type of guy or gal and you look at your bank account and you're like, I'm not saving enough money, right? You're not saving. Maybe you got the 401k going, but your savings account that you can get to all the time, you're just not, you're just, you're just not saving any cash. What I've been doing for a while, and it works for me, and this is small things, so, you know, like a vacation fund or a Christmas fund. Whenever I spend money, let's say a $20 bill, like right now I got uh, $6 and change back. I take the dollar bill, any dollar I get, and I put it somewhere. So I don't respend dollars. And you pack them up. And when I get to $20, I bundle it up and I put it in the bank. I don't touch dollars. If you give me a dollar and change, $4 and change, I package that up. Can you give me a favor and uh, park at the door? Park at the door. You got it. Yep. Thanks. They're making them fresh. And and it's it's very good because you don't think about them. And after a year, you've saved a significant amount of money. So this is for people that, like me, I've had a hard time just, you know, taking money and putting it in a bank. I don't know. That's my tip of the day. But I am looking forward to this ch king sandwich, guys. Daniel Hannon. What's up, brah? It's good to see Daniel Hannon here. What is Daniel saying? You understand. Thank you, Kim Gray. Kim Gray! Haven't seen you in a couple of days, Kim. Mr. Dan Hannon. Anthony D., what's up? What's up? Cancer's kicking you hard. I'm sorry, Ken. I was thinking about you when I hadn't seen you. I was I was thinking that. M. Jones, what's up, bro? But you can you got this, Kim. You can kick back harder. Thank you, brother. Have a good one. All right, so here we go. We have our two chicken sandwiches. I'm going to see if I can slide over here and park right in the lot. This is another thing that I really enjoy. Post-COVID or pre-COVID, I would enjoy going into Burger King. You know, just go in. Sit in Burger King like a like a the BK Lounge, like a champ. But I really enjoy having fast food right in the parking lot. Just pull up to a spot and enjoy your food. All right. Let's see what we got here. All righty. is the spicy, I guess. No, no, I can't tell the difference. This one is the spicy. And this is the regular, the classic. All right. Which one should I try first? Let's make this interactive. Who's down for spicy first and who's down for classic? Classic. All right, Edgardo. Let's try the classic. Let's pull it out. Now, I like this. It's packed in this bag here. 
Kim Gray says the regular. Kim Gray and Edgardo. Great minds think alike. All right, let's let's uh, l- let me give you a shot of this. Look at that guy. This is a hearty, big piece of chicken breast, if you believe that. It's got pickles on it, some sort of a mayonnaise sauce. Just looks really good, and it's warm. It's fresh. They made it just for me. It's not cheese. It's some sort of a creamy sauce, Kim. It's creamy. All right. So let's try this. They've been marketing the hell out of this. Is it good? Is it going to be approved? tender, very juicy, but very, very hot. They nuked the hell out of this. <laughs> Kim, just go out and get one, girl. Go out and get yourself one. I know. I've been watching a lot of NBA games, especially those um, West Coast games. So at 11 o'clock at night, they're Advertising, and you're like, damn, it's 11 o'clock. I can't go out at 11 o'clock. All right, second bite. Mm. Juicy white meat chicken breast. Very, very nice, guys. A crispy outside. Crunchy. That creamy sauce, it's it's more creamy than mustardy. It looks like a sort of a combination of mayo and mustard, but it doesn't really taste that way. This is my take on fast food. Get these new sandwiches, the promotional sandwiches. Get them when they're fresh. Or get them when they're first released. Because I find the standards are higher. You'll get a fresh sandwich in lieu of, uh, you know, something that's been sitting around. The guy said, we don't have it. Can you? Pull up, we're making you fresh. They don't do that with a Whopper anymore. I mean, sometimes. But these new promotional, they're spending a lot of money on advertising. And the last thing they want to do is give you some dried out chicken sandwich that's been sitting. Very nice. Okay, guys, another interactive little segment here. We've got vanilla. We've got dark blend. That's good. Ask for a Whopper without tomatoes. Change it up. You're right, Edgardo. Vanilla. Kim Gray? Okay. Now, I'm a big fan of Coke. But I haven't had a Coke in eight months. Jacqueline, she wants the dark roast. Well, I'm going to try them both. 
I haven't had a Coke in eight months. You know, I said to myself, I love Coke. But I've been drinking these, like, for so long. For many years, I didn't drink Coke. So when I was a kid, at some point, my mother gave in, and I started to drink Coke. And I was like a Coke fiend. And then when I became, like, an, a young adult, it wasn't really a health benefit scenario. I just stopped drinking Coke for many, many years. And then when I got into my mid, you know, middle age, one day I drank a Coke and I was like, oh my, where have I been? So I was going a little overboard on the Coke. So it's been eight months. But I saw this, guys, Coke and coffee, and I figured let's give it a, let's give it a go. But I've never had luck with Coke and anything mixed. You know, Coke, give me Coke. Then give me the other thing, but mixing stuff up with Coke has never gone all that well for me. But let's see. I like both of these. I love Coke, and I love coffee. Let's try it. You know, it's not half bad. The one thing I don't like about it, though, is to me there's a slight a the aftertaste. And there's 18 grams of sugar in this, so there shouldn't be a need for an aftertaste. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's the vanilla. 70 calories per can. <laughs> I don't know. It's like halfway to Coke. Halfway to coffee, halfway to Coke. All right. Let's try the spicy chicken, guys. Which one do we like better? If you like spice, I'm sure you'd be leaning towards spice. Now, this to me, right off the tip, look, it looks messy. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to like this. I like a spicy chicken sandwich or spicy. I like the spices cooked in on these, especially on fast food. But when you give me like a, a sandwich that's like messy, that's a little irritating. But look at this, guys. A big hearty breast of chicken. You've got that sauce again, guys. That mayo, mustard, pickle, Melage and a spicy dressing on the let's let's give it a whirl. I wouldn't really characterize this as spicy. There is a little bit of heat, especially on the back end. So after I just said I wouldn't characterize it as spicy, then I'm starting to burn a little bit. But there's a sweetness up front that I'm not 100% sure I'm loving. I'm not 100% sure I'm loving that. I like the heat on the back end. It, the, this sandwich is a little bit juicier because it's got that sauce on it. It's tasty, but the sweet, it's a little overly sweet up front. Mmm. So 
guys, if I'm finishing one, I'm going to finish the classic. Very succulent, nice, hearty, beefy breast of chicken. I think they've got something here. Hmm. Let's crack open the dark roast coffee and coke. And then I'm going to get out of here. Dark roast. All right, so the dark roast. It's still got that aftertaste. The dark roast has has more of a coffee feel, coffee taste up front. I don't think I'd be buying either one of these, to be honest. In fact, I don't even think I'd be taking it if you gave it to me. For my money, Coca-Cola, you want a Coke, there's just something about a Coke. Don't be mixing up the Coke. Just my thoughts. Mm. Wow. So I've been celebrating today all day. I surpassed twenty five. 25,000 subscribers. People like you that come into these videos when I do go live or I do a premiere, you comment, you're here for me, you're here for the community. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for being here. Without you, I would not be able to do this stuff. Well, I would be able to do it, but it wouldn't be as fun. Now, I want to thank you all and I want to offer my sincerest hopes that each one of you is pursuing something that they want. I hope you all get there. I set a goal to get to 100,000 subscribers because they give you a plaque. I've seen the plaques. And I'm going to get there with help from folks like you. I know I'm going to get there well before I lose all my hair. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for being here. I'll probably end my celebration now. It's a crappy day all of a sudden. But uh, I'll be back uh, probably on, well, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll probably be back tomorrow with some sort of a shaving review. But, again, a hearty thank you to you guys for being here, for being my friends. It's been awesome. I'm going to keep it going. We're going to add some new stuff. And we're going to keep this train rolling. Have a great night. And thank you once again. See you next time. And you know what to do. In the meantime, keep pushing play. I'll see you clowns later. And get to Burger King for their chicken sandwich. Average guy tested, average guy approved. Have a good one, guys. Captain Will. Take care.